One of my all-time favorite makeup products is mascara, and I don't think you need to spend a lot of money to get a really good one. So today, I'm gonna share my top three drugstore lengthening mascaras. All right, so what makes a really good mascara? I think across the board, everyone wants a mascara that doesn't clump, that doesn't flake, that doesn't smudge all over the place. And obviously, you want it to last. So that's like, hands down, the first thing that I think people look for. It needs to stay in place. But what a lot of people don't realize is that the brush for your mascara can really make a difference. So I know at this point in my life that I am obsessed with lengthening mascaras. That is what I look for when I am purchasing a mascara. If it says it's a volumizing mascara, it's usually not for me. It's not always like that, but for the most part, I can pretty much guess that a volumizing mascara is not going to become one of my favorites. So let's talk a little bit about the differences between a lengthening and a volumizing mascara. Usually a lengthening mascara brush will be a little bit thinner or it'll have more of like a cone shape. So it'll be tapered at the end, but a little bit fatter towards the base of it. Those types of brushes also have more bristles or shorter bristles that are closer together. And what that guarantees is that it's going to get every single lash or as many lashes as possible versus a wire brush, which usually comes with the volumizing mascaras. They're usually fatter brushes. They have thicker bristles to them. And what they tend to do when you use them is they grab two to three of your lashes and they almost close lump it together so it looks like you have thicker lashes. For my eyes specifically, I have slightly smaller almond shaped eyes. I have a little bit of a hooded lid. It's like, I'm kind of like halfway cause I'm mixed, you know? <laughs> and also with my lashes, I don't have thick lashes, but I don't have sparse lashes either. What I really need is to just get them to look like they're a little bit longer. So for me, it's all about a lengthening mascara because I want to be able to get every single lash, but I also want to make sure that I'm not going to get mascara all over my eyelid and stuff. And so a thicker brush will, you know, sometimes kind of get all over the place. So I wanna have a little bit more control. And for me, that is with a lengthening mascara brush, a molded brush. All right, so the first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And this one is under $4. So this one really tops my list as the most affordable and amazing lengthening mascara that you can get. This one only comes in one color, so it's probably the only negative I would say about it. If you're one of those people that wants like a dark brown color or if you want it to be really, really black, that's not this. This color is very black, so it is a really dark black color. And for those of you that don't know, you want to get like that dark black color because it's just going to make your lashes stand out. Even for someone like me who is a brunette and I already have dark lashes, what you're trying to accomplish with lengthening mascara especially, you want the tips of your lashes to stand out. So a lot of the time what happens is the tips of your lashes kind of taper and so they look a little bit thinner and then they don't look as long. So what you're trying to accomplish with a black mascara is you're trying to get the edges of your lashes to really kind of pop and look like they are longer. So this one is really great because it has a really nice formula first off. It does not smudge, it does not flake, it does not seem to get all over the place. It does not get clumpy on me at all. This has vitamin E in the formulation, so it's really nice and moisturizing and nourishing for your lashes. So you're not feeling like you're getting this really thick, clumpy, just formula on your lashes. It feels really, really nice. It's really lengthening and it doesn't look clumpy. But the thing that really makes it stand out is the brush. If you take a look at this brush, first off, you'll see that the formula isn't all over the brush at all. It doesn't get clumpy and gross. You don't pull out a ton of mascara with it. You pull out just the right amount. It's a very thin brush and you can see all of those bristles really get in there. It's a very, very precise brush. Somebody with really big big eyes and really thick lashes and stuff. You might not like a brush like this because it might feel like it's too much work for you, but if you have almond shaped eyes, if you have hooded eyes, if you have really short lashes, this is very beneficial to someone like that. Next up on my list is this one from L'Oreal. This is the Unlimited Mascara. There are a couple of reasons why I think this is amazing. So first off, it is a lengthening mascara, but it also gives you lift. So for someone who is looking for a little bit more lengthening to their lashes, but you also 
also happen to have slightly straighter lashes and you constantly have to curl them, this is the type of mascara that you want to look for, one that has a little bit of lifting to it. And the way that you can tell it's a lifting mascara is by the brush again. It has more of a cone-shaped or a tapered brush to it. The formula is also equally amazing on this mascara. It's a little bit more wet than the Wet n Wild one. You can even see when you pull the brush out, you'll see more mascara on this brush, but it doesn't smudge or clump or flake or anything like that. It's a really nice formula. But again, it comes down to the brush for me. So if you look at this again, for lengthening for me, it's all about those bristles that can get every single one of your lashes. So it starts off thicker at the base of it. That's the, the base of the cone. And that's really good for the base of your lashes. If you want that lift and you need your lashes to stay up higher, you wanna get this mascara into the base of your lashes using kind of the fatter part of the brush first. And then you wanna turn it around and use the tip of the brush for the lengthening part of it. Something to keep in mind with this formula is when you pull the brush out, you wanna tap the tip of the brush into the inside of the tube so that you're not risking any clumping or anything with it. So once you have the base of your lashes done with the mascara, then you're going to dip it again and then you'll pull it out and you'll use more, you'll kind of turn it and use more of the tip of the brush to really start to lengthen and separate your lashes. Something else that's very cool about this mascara is that it has this wand that you can actually tilt. It's a tip that makeup artists use. If you see them with like a spoolie for mascara, they'll actually bend the brush. That way they can actually apply the mascara to their client really easily without having to you know, move their wrist in a strange way. I don't personally use this, but if you are a makeup artist, that's something to consider is that this brush actually allows you to do that. So you can just open it, you tilt it, and then it is in that shape for you. So then you can go like that. But I, I personally don't use it that way. It's more of a tool for actual makeup artists, but it's still something cool. Another thing about this mascara is that it comes in two different shades. There is a black brown color. I like to use a black brown color on my bottom lashes sometimes. That way I don't get that like butterfly look to my eyes. It doesn't stand out as hard and it looks a little bit more natural. It's something that Nikki, my makeup artist does with me almost all the time on camera. But there's also this color, which is blackest black. And then the last mascara is probably my favorite one and it is this by Maybelline. It is their Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara. This one I saw on TikTok. It was one of those viral TikTok drugstore makeup products that everyone should get. So of course I got it because I wanted to see what the hype was all about and it is amazing. So this is actually a hybrid mascara. This is a lengthening and volumizing mascara, but the reason why it makes my list and why I love it is because you're kind of getting the best of both worlds here. You are getting the brush that I love where it gets every single one of your lashes because it is thin enough. It's actually a little bit of a cone shape, but it's not an extreme cone shape. It's truly just a skinny molded mascara brush. So it's, it's actually right up my alley when it comes to the actual type of brush for the mascara, but then you get the volumizing from the mascara and it doesn't come from the brush. You've got basically a brush that's for lengthening, but then the formula is made for volumizing. You get bamboo extract and fibers. So you're getting a thickening effect from this formula. So essentially what it's doing is you're getting every single one of your lashes and instead of clumping the lashes together like you would with a volumizing mascara, it's instead separating each of your lashes and then it's adding that fiber and that thickness to each of your lashes. So it it doesn't look like it's clumpy. It doesn't look like it's, you know, connecting all of your lashes together and it doesn't give you that spider eyes look. That's what I actually tend to hate when it comes to mascara. Instead, you just look like you've got a lot of volume, you've got a lot of lashes and they're also really nice and long and separated. The brush you'll also notice is it's really, really flexible. So you can truly get into every single one of your lashes. It also comes in two different colors. There is very black and blackest black. I think I went for blackest black. Yeah, because I really like the, the dark black mascaras. So those are my three favorite drugstore lengthening mascaras. Right now, you know, there's always new mascara formulas coming out and stuff that I love to try. I really don't think that you need to spend a lot of money on mascara. I have other mascaras that are more expensive that I do love for sure, but these are just as good and I'm not sure I would actually trade them for any other mascaras. They just are such good mascaras. You do not have to spend a lot of money. If you guys have tried these mascaras, mascaras or have any questions about them, let me know in the comments below. Also tell me if there are other drugstore mascaras that I should really take a look at. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.